What's up everyone, Video Edge back here once again bringing you yet more Sunship content. Today's episode is going to be all about efficient plate production. We've actually come up with a design here that we think is the highest per second, just short of 60 plates per second. Please let us know if you have seen any higher, we'd love to check that build out. This one will fit in your micro factory as all of our designs do. So with that being said, let's get straight into our sandbox and show you how this is going to work. So the very first thing we need to do is put our synthesizer down as we do in all of our builds. We're going to put it exactly six squares down and we're then going to get a fast splitter to separate the supply lines here. Now we would usually place down another splitter here to split this off two more times, but we're gonna be using heaters before we split. This makes it a little bit less efficient than if we put our splitters down before our heaters, but this is gonna provide us a little bit more space to play with with the design. So we're just gonna do it this way, as you will see. We're then just gonna place our presses down and our exporters down. That's gonna form the first four lines of production here. And we're just going to copy the same style on these next two synthesizers at the top. Again, using the fast splitter. As always, guys, if you don't have fast tech unlock, you can just use the regular splitters and grabbers. But the output will be slightly reduced. So that's two lines up now. We're then going to place our third and final line up, just as we have done on the other two. Again, heating before we split those off. And then placing our four presses down and our four exporters. As you can see, we've got those three synthesizers set up now and they're distributing out to 12 plates. So that's 12 lines of production. Now I've got two more synthesizers left to play with here. We're gonna put these down at the bottom here like so and continue the same pattern on this left-hand side, adding another four lines of production there. However, for the right-hand side, we're gonna go back to the old, more efficient method here placing our splitter down and then two more splitters and four heaters we don't need as much space on this right hand side for the build so we can allow this extra production so as you can see here we've got 20 lines of production here we've also got a lot of space in the middle to add some grabbers and try and increase the production even more here so we're going to start off at the bottom here with these two synthesizers and we're going to place a fast grabber at the bottom a heater another press and an exporter like so. And that's gonna add a bit more to these two bottom synthesizers in terms of output. And just looking upwards here, we're gonna add another fast grabber followed by a heater, a press, and we're gonna put the exporter up here so we can connect it to another line later on. Now for this bottom left synthesizer, we've actually got a bit more space to play with here. So we're gonna use two fast grabbers here to place into this heater. Two long fast grabbers work a little bit better than one normal fast grabber. So that gives us a little bit more than if we were just to use the single. And that's just about as much as we can get out of these bottom two synthesizers. So moving on to the top three here, we're gonna start off with this left-hand side one and place another grabber here and a very similar setup, straight into the heater, straight into the press, and then an exporter. Looking just below, we're gonna put exactly the same setup down again. Heater, followed by a press, followed by an exporter. And we've got a little bit of room on this right-hand side of this one as well, so we're gonna put another one down there, and then another heater, press, and exporter. And that's just about as much as we can get out of that left-hand side synthesizer. For this middle one, we're gonna add another grabber here, and that's gonna feed into the already placed down heater, press, and exporter, just increasing that output a bit more, and we can Put one on the right hand side here in a similar vein and we can also connect this fast grabber at the bottom of it into the already set up system there so we've got three outputs coming out of that middle synthesizer again moving on to the right hand synthesizer we've not got enough space to use all three sides we can add a fast grabber to this left hand side we can also place one down here into this heater and then connect that up as we suggested earlier on now with that all placed down, now we are about at our limit now. We can't really get any more out of this based on our design. So we're gonna turn on the factory now and check out the output. So as we can see here guys, over 58 plates per second. It's a really healthy amount, super efficient, and it will be a welcome addition to anyone's sunship because plates are one of the most 
commonly needed items, especially for contracts and even creating other items as well. So they're always in demand and you always need a good supply. This is going to help with that. And at this rate of output, you won't even need to run it that long to maximize your capacity. So we head over to the blueprint, we can see that the production output was 59.83. Now this was how much it was outputting previously when we built it, when we were designing the build. But for some reason now it's saying 58.1. We're not sure if that's a visual bug and the actual output is 59.83 because that's what we were getting previously. So that's what we're hoping is the output, in which case that will be one of the highest outputs of plates. As we said at the start, we've not seen anything higher than 59.83 on the market so far. But even if it is 58.1, that's still a really good amount. It's not going to make a massive difference in the grand scheme of things, but it would be nice to say that it is 59.83 because it is a very good amount. Nevertheless, as we can see here, the price is 71k. The substance expense is quite high, but given the output, you won't need to run this very often for very long. And in terms of materials, we're looking at a lot of common materials here. As always, the gearbox is the stumbling point, but that's solely down to the fast tech. If you're using regular grabbers and splitters, you won't need that amount of gearboxes it would just be more common materials so we're going to save this into our designs and export it into our level 5 micro factory and get some production going so here we are guys in our level 5 micro factory we're going to go down to our designs lace this down into our sand ship let's turn this on and as we can see, it is showing 58.1 again in the output section, which is a bit disappointing. Maybe the 59.83 was a bit of a myth, but nevertheless, we can see the plates firing up in our transit here. We're never going to be in short supply of those again. And that's this design in a nutshell, guys. We hope you like this one. And for anyone out there that is in need of a plates design, hopefully this has fulfilled that void. You might have seen we've called this one Plates Ahoy. We couldn't really think of a good name. We were trying to think of something funny in line with a Greek restaurant, throwing lots of plates around, but couldn't really put our finger on the greatest name. I'm sure you guys have got some great suggestions as always. We'd love to see those down in the comments. They're always a joy to read. And like we often refer to, if there is something you would like to see us cover in this game, please let us know. We try to read as many comments as possible. If you want to see some more gameplay, if you like the designs and you want to see more designs, let us know, guys. You can decide the direction this channel takes. We want to make you guys happy, and we can only do that by knowing exactly what you want to see. We'll be back again with another design for you in our next video. So until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.